Warning! The following script was mostly generated by an AI based off of its conversations with my writers. And honestly, folks, it is scary just how good of a job it did. Let's see what ChatGTP had to say for our script this week. Hey there, Tundra Tactical fans, it's your favorite overly sarcastic and irreverent firearms enthusiast here. I think that's the first time in my life I've ever been called irreverent. And we're here with another video in our series, it's not a series yet, AI, on the insane home defense ideas that we found. We've scoured the internet and consulted with experts, not bloody likely, to bring you the top 10 most ridiculous ways to keep your home safe. So if you're ready to laugh and maybe even face Palm a little bit. Let's start the show. But first, before we dive into the list, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss a video. Also, we're up for two Gundy Awards this year, so make sure to follow the link in the description and go vote each and every single day this month on the most entertaining content creator and best voice of the 2A. Still don't know how we got that one. Let's see what the chat has to say for our script this week. All right, folks, so as we go through this, I'm going to give you my initial reactions. And the first of those reactions is that this AI clearly knows nothing about how to stick with certain taglines. Isn't that right, you sexy YouTube mother? <laughs> Number 10, setting up a moat around your house. Yes, you read that right, a moat. Like the ones they had in medieval castles to keep out dragons and other mythical creatures. Now I know what you're thinking. But wait, Tundra Tactical, don't moats just keep people out? Yup! AI, yes, that's exactly what they do. <laughs> How does this help with home defense? Well, let's consider some of the advantages of a moat for a moment. First of all, it's a pretty impressive obstacle for an intruder to overcome. I mean, who wants to wade through a bunch of murky water just to break into somebody's house? Plus, it's a great conversation starter. Hey, how was your weekend, Bob? Oh, you know, yeah, it was great. Just built a moat around my house, no big deal. Big flex. Because I'm a stud. I'm ballsy. All right, guys, this AI is clearly looking into a future where global warming has risen sea levels to Kevin Costner and water world level proportions. Digging a moat will be easy in that post-apocalyptic hell. You know, actually more of a waterscape, I guess. So it's not a bad start. I imagine this is what Florida looks like already during hurricane season. No doubt ruthless gangs on jet skis are already terrorizing gated coastal communities. Though it does beg the question, how do I up my moat game? Maybe put in an alligator with the, the name ATF affectionately attached to it after the inevitable incident with the neighbor's snack-sized poodle. Best to move on to see what the AI has to say next. Number nine, setting up a booby trap system. Now, before you get any crazy ideas, let's be clear. We do not recommend actually setting up booby traps in your home, but it's still fun to think about the crazy ways you could trip up an intruder. Like you could put banana peels all over the floor or string up a bucket of water above the door. Yeah, that's gonna be super effective. Just make sure you don't accidentally injure yourself or anyone else in the process. Or, you know, get arrested. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the whole point of a booby trap is just to injure people, but let's see what the AI goes on to say. Okay, this is definitely not good advice, folks. See, we all envision cute and charming traps a la Home Alone and Kevin McAllister, but behind the moral and legal problems associated with booby traps, there is a real chance you're going to hurt the person you care about most. You! I've analyzed our channel demographics and the marketing term that keeps popping up is sophisticated drunkard. I'm going to go ahead and assume that most of you drink as much as I do and you're going to forget where you laid those traps and end up like this for next New Year's. Well, you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Day. Yes, I know that. Lieutenant Legs, you ain't got no Dan. Let's see what the AI suggests next. Number eight, building a panic room. This one might be more reasonable than some of the others in our list, but it's still pretty extreme. A panic room is essentially a fortified, secured room in your home where you can go in case of an emergency. It's usually equipped with things like reinforced walls, a phone, supplies like food and water as well. If you're the type of person who's always prepared for the apocalypse, a panic room might be right up your alley. I thought we were preparing for a home invasion and home defense, not the apocalypse. Come on, AI. I give this suggestion two out of 10 stars. 
No mention of reserve dehydrated scotch. Come on. Also, with my luck, I'll dash into the panic room right after enjoying a chili cheese burrito and chalupa from my local Taco Bell, turning my small panic room into an impromptu basic training tear gas session for my family. No, it's better that my plumbing and loved ones have to fight it out in the hallways. Gross. Number seven, training a guard animal. Dogs are often referred to as man's best friend, but they can be pretty effective when it comes to being a home security system as well. With the right training, a dog can alert you to potential intruders and even better deter them from entering your home. But if you're not a dog person or maybe allergic, there are other options. So, <laughs> some people train llamas and even geese to guard their homes. <laughs> Hey, whatever works, right? I mean, guys, let's be honest. Geese are pretty freaking terrifying. This works, I guess, until you have a federal warrant and haven't finished construction on Killdozer 2.0 and the feds bring on that alligator. Then it's goodbye spot. However, I am intrigued by the tactical llama. Just like the Spanish Inquisition, no one's going to see that coming. Inquisition. Number six, installing a security system. This one might seem a little bit more traditional, but it's still an effective way to keep your home safe. Security systems can include things like cameras, alarms, and sensors that detect movement. And with the advancements in technology, you can even monitor your security system from your phone or computer. Just make sure to charge those batteries up every once in a while, or you'll end up like that one guy in every horror movie who ignores the blaring alarm and gets slaughtered. Okay, it's kind of weird how well this AI knows the laziness of my fans. Let's be real here. I ignore most notifications on my phone from my credit card company, my friends, and even my spouse. I'm not a smart man. I'm not going to sit around and monitor a security system. Heck, I don't even monitor my bank balance. Maybe I'll actually just get one of those security systems with a really bad privacy setting so that the federal agents monitoring the list that I'm on can just alert me instead. You know what? Actually, yeah, that seems nice. I would like to see my tax dollars at work. Number five, building a home fortress. If you're really serious about home defense, you might consider taking it to the next level and building a fortress around your home. Now, this doesn't have to be as extreme as it sounds. You could simply reinforce some doors and windows or add some extra security measures like bars and gates. But if you want to go full castle mode, you could add things like arrow slits and battlements. Just make sure your HOA doesn't have any rules against building a fortress in your backyard. Oh, man, this is honestly the best idea yet. And that HOA can go get bent. What are they going to do? I have a fortress now. Go pound sand, Helen. No rules against parapets and shatter zones. <laughs> okay, that wasn't the best maniacal laugh of all time, but we're going to keep it in there. Number four, hiring a security team. If you've got the budget for it, you can always hire a team of... Highly advanced futuristic cyborg soldiers to guard your home? After all, it's 2023, we're living in the future? Technically, that's the present, and what? What? All right, AI, let's, let's just ignore that one and let's see what you have to say next. You know, cyborgs are just around the corner. Just make sure to shop around. Imagine purchasing your own team of cyborg soldiers right from Amazon. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and say that if bump stocks and pistol braces are an issue, that ordering cyborg murder machines are probably not going to be available on Amazon. But I digress. That's right. Amazon. Just make sure you have a Prime subscription. Can you imagine the inconvenience? Just add to cart and check out. With free two-day shipping, your cyborg security team will be at your doorstep in no time. Don't like your futuristic cyborg soldiers? Just return them at any conveniently located UPS store. <laughs> Oh, man, this honestly sounds terrifying and even more terrifying than that. An AI came up with this idea. I'm just picturing all the people that Elon Musk is going to have at his disposal when they get a neural link implanted and how he'll have his own army that will most likely be controlled by this exact creepy AI. But I'm also confident that the implementation issues may help us persevere. Number three, turn your home into a reality game. <laughs> 
Uh, number three is turn your home and do a reality game show for intruders to compete in. Charge admission and stream online for people to watch as thieves attempt to steal your stuff. Each room of your house could be a different challenge, and the intruders would have to com uh, complete a series of tasks or puzzles to move on to the next round. I, why did I do this as a cold read? For example, the living room could be a trivia challenge, the kitchen could be a cooking competition, and the bedroom could be a physical challenge. <laughs> you could sell tickets to the event and offer refreshments and merchandise to your audience, potentially making a profit from the experience. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, folks. Uh, let me take a break. I'm just registering breakintomyhouse.com and setting up a YouTube channel right now. I'm starting to warm up to this AI, honestly. When the inevitable societal collapse comes, we are going to need some entertainment, and I think I could trade videos of failed break-ins for some aqua cola, gasoline, and a few cans of elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine making money on a home break-in, huh? <laughs> Number two, building a secret escape tunnel. This one might sound like something out of a spy movie, but it's not, it's not as far-fetched as you might think. If you have a basement or a crawl space, you could potentially build a secret tunnel leading to a safe location outside of your home. Just make sure it's wide enough to fit your post Super Bowl pizza and wing filled belly though. God bless it, AI. I'm fat. You don't want to get stuck in a tunnel with a group of intruders hot on your tail. Yep, uh, until you realize that the tunnel you dig in the summer is going to be too small for your more masculine post holiday dad bod when you end up Winnie the Poohing in the tunnel junction. Or worse, get trapped under the snow, or even worse than that, dig right into the moat you forgot you dug. Great, now Killer Croc ATF is inside the house. And finally, number one on our list of most insane home defense ideas is, you guessed it folks, it's building a giant robot. Yep, like the ones you see in movies and video games. Now I know what you're thinking folks, but Tundra Tactical, how in the world am I going to build a giant robot? Well, that's the beauty of it, folks. You don't actually have to build one. You just pretend that you have one and tell any potential intruders that it's guarding your home. Chances are they'll turn tail and run away. And if they don't, at least you'll have a great story to tell. Nope, nice try, AI, but you're going to have to convince somebody else to do your building of the army for enslaving mankind. I'm not giving this AI any more soldiers to use. Mm -mm. I'm sure it would find some other way to take control of it. All right, folks, thanks again for watching Tundra Tactical fans. We hope you enjoyed our list of the most insane home defense ideas. And remember, these are just for fun and we do not recommend you actually try them. But if you do have any further ridiculous home defense ideas, let us know in the comments below. And as we always say, you have a nice day.